The engineering quest has been about since uh, 1967. We mainly work for the safety critical and um, quality critical markets. If our customers were to um, discuss us amongst each other, they'd probably say that we are very good at solving their problems. We help them get products to market uh, quickly. I'm actually an operator and a setter at the Engineering Quest. Um, I do a lot of product development on various new jobs that come through the factory. A day-to-day -day exercise, setting a machine, operating the machine, looking for any issues, making alterations for any issues, having a chat with tool reps about said job. They're pretty, pretty decent, uh, especially heavy cutting. Uh, we're doing sort of five or six mil depth of cuts at the moment on there. And um, that's radially, um, at a feed rate about 0 0.5, 0 0.6. It's all about flexibility for us. Um, we need lots of machines with lots of capabilities because we never know what's coming next. Um, our customer you know, might want a completely different product line in the next uh, month or the next year. So we have to be able to react to that. World High Tech supplies for the majority of their machines and they are very good at reacting to our short-term needs. Their support is second to none. So this is a FAMUP four axis um, sliding column machine. The bed doesn't move at all. Uh, at the minute, we're doing these bias units, uh, the sick top of them. So we're starting off 3D milling three different facets. And then there's going to be two bores going into each facet. They've all got to line up together. Fine finishing them with a boring head. And then there's also three holes intersecting those bores that we've got to index round to. We've got about plus or minus 10 microns on some of the holes. Um, we've got like 50 micron true positions from one hole to another, different parts. Yeah, the material on this part is P550, which is pretty nasty material to machine. Um, work hardens, so you've got to keep your feeds up, keep good coolant on it. Uh, we chose this machine for this part because obviously the size of it. Um, also, this machine is very rigid. It can handle the weight of it and also the depths of cut that we're throwing at it. No, this is a really high value part. You can't afford to scrap it. These machines have never broken down and any time that we have had any issues, we've been out to get hold of an engineer or parts the next day. It's not been an issue. We've not actually lost production over anything. I can't, I can't think of anything, no. <laughs>